Hello, welcome to today's video. So tonight I thought I might show you what I made for dinner. I know this is a pretty random thing to do, but I thought why not. So I have some veggie pasta and Italian herbs here. And what I'm going to do first is fill up my pot with water. Go ahead and set the heat for high. And let that boil. So I thought while the pot is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and make some rolls to go with the food. So I have a recipe here to follow and what you're going to need for this is some milk. I'm just using soy milk for this. Baking powder, salt, sugar, vegetable shortening, and flour. So go ahead and add in your half a cup shortening. two cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, then one teaspoon salt. So go ahead and mix that all up. So once it's mixed up, go ahead and slowly pour in your milk. And don't forget to scrape the sides of the bowls while it is mixing to make sure you get all the little bits. So once it's done mixing, I just take a scoop of batter, roll it into a ball, and put it on a nonstick pan. So in total, once you're done, you should have around 12 rolls. And now what I'm going to do is you can put this in while it's mixing, but I decide to do it on top this time. But I have some rosemary leaves here. I'm just going to sprinkle some on top of each roll and it will give it a nice flavor to it. This is totally optional if you don't like rosemary or if you don't want it on them, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So after that, put them into the oven and let them cook for 12 minutes. Once the pot is boiling, go ahead and pour in your pasta. And don't forget to occasionally stir your pasta to prevent hardening and sticking together. And let this cook for about 10 minutes or so or more if you need to. Just don't forget to stir. <laughs> So while that's cooking, I have some cherry tomatoes here, and I'm just cutting them in half, like so. And you can cut up as many as you want. I am I think in total I, I did about 18 tomatoes, so I'm just cutting them up in half. So now I have a small bowl and I have some walnuts here. I'm just going to pour an estimated amount that I think I need for the pasta I have. So it really depends on how much pasta you're having. So I poured some walnuts in there. I have some of the Italian herbs, which has like oregano and rosemary and thyme and stuff like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in some mozzarella cheese. So that's all you need, those three ingredients. And now go ahead and mix that up. So now go ahead and strain your pasta once it is done cooking. So once it is done cooking and strained, I'm going ahead and 
pouring in my cut tomatoes. So just scraping that in. Now go ahead and stir it up a little bit and add in your walnut mix. So now I'm adding a spoonful of butter. You don't have to do this if you don't really want to, but I'm just adding in a spoonful of butter. You can use any butter you like. It's really up to you. So just continue stirring until that butter has completely melted and you can't see it anymore. And once it is all mixed up, you can go ahead and plate your pasta and I'm adding a bit of Parmesan on top as you can see here. Now go ahead and serve it with your biscuit and you're done. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye!